ugly guys okay. or short and handsome guys? Tall and ugly. Yes, my turn, assholes. This was height matter. I have a minimum height requirement of five foot ten. So how tall are you? Five foot three. Oh, so you're okay. Should height matter to women when it comes to dating? Okay. It shouldn't, but I can see why it matters to them. You know, yeah, I, why? I why? People want to show off what they've got, you know, mm. and it's value to them. I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's, what? So being taller means you're more valuable? Well, in their eyes, <laughs> in their eyes, in their eyes, being taller. I mean, yeah. they talk about protection and stuff, like okay. being, yeah, being able to protect. Being them. that protector, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it that. shouldn't really matter. So do you think, as a five foot five man, I can't protect my woman? You can. I'm not saying you can't. <laughs> right. Okay. You can. Yeah. But I don't know, man. It's just, it's just, it just, it just embedded. It's a psychological thing. Yeah, it's embedded. Yeah. Height matters. In this video, I'm going to give you brutal truths about the height pill. The first thing that bothers me about the height pill is that most women have a standard where you, as a male, might be rejected in advance without being given a chance if you don't exceed her minimal height barrier. The rejection rate drops to 15% if you're around 5 feet 10 inches tall, making you quite secure in Western countries. But for males who are only 5 feet 8 inches tall, the number drops to half. At 5'6", even more women, 75% of women will automatically exclude a man as unsuitable for dating because of his height. Last but not least, at 5 feet and 4 inches, an absurd 90% of women will automatically reject a male. For this reason, I think it's safe to say that a widespread misperception about modern dating is that men have the freedom to select their female partners. A common misconception is that men enjoy unrestricted authority and autonomy. That is not the case. Women make all the decisions in the household, while males do nothing. If most men don't even have a couple of viable alternatives, it's hard to believe that they can make an informed decision. Typical males on Tinder don't get more than a couple of matches every day, while most girls receive hundreds or even thousands. The truth is that men don't pick, they make offers, and it's up to women to accept or reject them. There are lots of males out there who are the right height for a lady. The so-called 80 to 20 rule argues, essentially, that the top 20% of men today are all that 80% of women desire to date. Therefore, the vast majority of men from lower socioeconomic backgrounds are excluded. 20% is now one-fifth of the total. I'll give you two scenarios. Scenario 1. When my buddies and I were out dancing one night, we came across a guy whose facial attractiveness was, at most, a four. On the other hand, he was a gigantic six feet or more in height. And within the space of 20 minutes, I witnessed him make out with not one but two sizzling babes. As for me, all I could think of after that was how obviously this wasn't the outcome of any sort of game or skill. If you're a male and you're tall enough, it might not matter if your face is appealing or even a touch below attractive, especially in a low light setting like a club people's faces no longer stand out as the center of interest. Scenario 2. A girl I dated years ago was a table tennis player. She had a successful club that attracted both men and women. And then she returned from training and explained to me the overall shift in demeanor. This was something she saw between the majority of the short men and the majority of the tall men. She mentioned instances in which her ball ricocheted off the table and was returned to her by a kind passerby. If the guy was tall, he would just hand it back to her without any hesitation. In the meantime, the short person would try to max his way back into the ball by playing mindless games. A short man can demand that you identify the item as yours before returning it. The very thought of this made me uncomfortable. I couldn't decide whether to laugh at how sad a man had to be to accomplish this or cry for him. I don't see why the short guys couldn't simply act normally for once and stop making jokes and playing games that only they could understand. Seemingly, they are making up for their little height in other ways. In sum, if one's frame of mind is crucial to romantic success as a man, then one's height is likely to remain significant. That's all for today's episode on Circle of Kings. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.